Oh dear, there we go. Now what do I do for the next 10 minutes while this thing drips? She get a torch. That's what I should do. <laughs> This is gonna get old. What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. So I have a Ford Ranger, 89 Ford Ranger pickup truck. And it is, when you run it, um, the first start of the day, you turn the key on, and then it takes off, but then it like dies, it runs super rough, and then dies. You put your foot in the, th in the throttle, it'll, it'll still keep running, but you have to hold it there for a while. Drive it for like a mile or two, and all of a sudden it just takes off and runs great. It's probably going to be the fuel pump, but we went over ahead and picked up one of these fuel filters for this truck. Just a little inline fuel filter. Now that shouldn't be, oops, that shouldn't be super hard to replace, right? You know, just hose goes on that end, hose goes on this end. Those clamped to the frame, you know, super, super pretty simple. But you see those little tangs, those little metal things right here? I didn't notice right, right away, but I looked up online, and supposedly you need a little tool to take that off, because these things, they snap, the hose snaps under there with little um, metal thing, things that spring onto these things. I'll show you when I get in the truck, but they, the hose pushes on, and it snaps under that. You need a tool to pull it back off, otherwise you risk damaging the ends. I don't have one of those tools. I'm going to crawl under there. Maybe it's just a hose clamp. <laughs> That'd be yeah, great if it was just a hose clamp. But I was under there before and I don't think it is. I think my neighbor actually has one of these tools. I hope. I'm not sure. But I'm going to try to get that. But I have a truck put up on ramps so I can get under there. I have a block in the back of both of them. And I have a block in the front and back of both of your tires. It is in gear. I'm going to go ahead and pull the fuse out for the fuel pump and turn the key over a couple times and turn the engine over to make sure all the pressure is out of that fuel line. And then let's just crawl in there, get our eyes full of rust, and have fun. So the old Ford manual, every single fuse except that fuse. Maybe this truck doesn't have a fuse for it. I can't believe that. But I know there's a safety shutoff switch. So in the event of a crash, it does kick the fuel off. But that's only in the event of a crash, though. So I don't think there's a fuse to do this. It's just to remove pressure out of the line. So I just think I've been sitting for a couple of days. I think it should be should be much pressure in it. If it is, I'll have goggles on anyway. So, all right, let's get under there. Ah, oh, much more movement under here. Is that jack the front end up? All right, so right here's a fuel filter. There's a hose clamp that holds it to the frame, and then there's these yeah, there's these stupid clips on each side. Man, it's gonna be stupid. Let's pull the hose clamp off first, and try to get the fuel filter out at least. Hose clamp. Ah, uh, gotta be kidding me. This thing won't just pull out. I have to lift it out. Oh, that's so stupid. Alright, well, I definitely do not have one of these little tools for this. I'm gonna have to see if my neighbor has one of these things. Okay. Alrighty. See you guys in a little bit. Oh. Alright, guys, check it out. Got a set of these. Uh, what are they called? Anyway, they're, you know what they are. They pull off the full ends that are on these things. So that's awesome. But I think 516 is broken off. I have no idea where that went. So I'm hoping. 3 eighths. I think this is 3 eighths. I'm not sure what exactly the size this is, but if not, I can switch this down enough. 5 sixteenths, if it is 5 sixteenths. So let's crawl back into there and try to get this fuel filter off. Alright, now that the actual tool. Hmm. Maybe it doesn't work. Two hours later. That's what's in there. One of these little clip things that just slide in. None of that stuff on the inside. At least I don't think so. Now. Oh 
there. There we go. All right. One side's off, and I think it's probably going to be coming out for a while now. All right. She probably actually put something under there to catch it. Oh, gosh. Now, what do I do for the next 10 minutes while this thing drips? Mm. She'll get a torch. That's what I should do. <laughs> Got the little clip out right there. And now I just pull on this thing and hope no fuel comes out. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Well, yeah, I bought, I bought. This is gonna get old. Hey, there we go. Now I'm going to have fuel doing everywhere now. Oh gosh, my gloves! Get out of there! Oh man, I'm draining the whole injection system. Oh gosh. Oh, one little more and right? add it to the mix. Alright, now I'm going to pull this out here. Way. Ah, victory is mine. Ah, look at that thing. You guess the problem? That was pretty bad. Let's go ahead and set that there and go grab the new fuel filter. Flow that way. Fuel tank back there, engine up front. Should be good to go with that. Like so. Now, I need to figure out where the heck those things are. They're right there. Oh, yeah, they're kind of way. They're like there, I think. Right. Just like so. I don't know why that is sealed. I have no idea. And then, we just start jamming this thing up in there, just like so, and that sits right there. And then this thing pops right in. The back of it there. And then, there's a little clip. And now, just snap this thing back in there. Oh shoot, stuck in one place. There we go. Ah, there we go. Now it's all the stuff. Now we take the hose clamp. Try to feed it back to the future. Look at snug, not super tight, I'm ready to crush the filter. I think clips are in, the hose clamp's tight. I think it's time we start it up and see if it works. Alrighty. Done under here. Unless it leaks. That would not be good. Alrighty. It's all installed, guys. It looks pretty good under there. Here is the old fuel filter. That's, you know, it's only 30 years old. I mean, it's, it should have a few more thousand miles in it. You know, it's been replaced with one since all life. So, yeah, pretty good. Turns out I did not need these at all. I would have to look online. People said, you need to get those. I actually saw them there. I don't know if you saw it very well or not, but these two little like snap rings I just pushed in over the um this thing right here. Pushed it over that and held the thing and went in like this and kept it from coming back off. And then you just pop it out and then it pulls off. 
instead of having those little spring fingers what are these used for so that was good didn't even need didn't even need to go get these but now we have them gotta go back to my neighborhood unfortunately but easy on if we need them again unfortunately he does not have the 516s one i've broken that one but it has three eights all the way up to uh, five eights or seven eights seven eights toes. so that's pretty big um so yeah so Let's go ahead and try this thing up and see if it leaks. Alright, let's see here. Wonky. There we go. Alright, let's break clutch. Cycling it a few times. Come on. There we go. Things are running. That's good. Now, let's go see if it's leaking. Awesome. I'm gonna go ahead and take this thing off the ramps. I was actually looking at it first to make sure there's no drips, so I'm gonna take it off the ramps and drive it back in here and see what it's like. So let's do it. Alrighty guys, the thing back in the shop. That was the first time I've ever actually driven this truck back in the shop because it's a manual transmission, so it's a little bit difficult, but it's fun. So yeah, so now got a brand new fuel filter in this thing, and if that doesn't fix the problem, then we'll be pulling the bed off and putting a new fuel pump in it. But we thought for seven dollars, you might as well just try the fuel filter first. So, probably wouldn't have hurt it, you know, because uh, you can see that's what it looks like, which is not exactly what you want. So anyway, um, yeah, so. Next time could be a fuel filter, but we'll see how this starts. Anyway, we probably should put a new fuel pump in it because you know it's 30 years old. Maybe should we? Probably should. So, but it involves pulling the bed off, which involves trying to get those out for those one there, one over there, one back there, one back there. Um, so big torques. Got to buy some stuff. Got the blaster on it. Ride it for like a week or so, and those are there. Those other three. They don't come out, not a huge deal. You can just drill them out, cut them out, do whatever. This one, guess what's right below that? The fuel tank. And it's a plastic fuel tank. So if that doesn't come out, we have to like drill it out or heat it up, and that falls in that plastic and melts through it. We're done. <laughs> because the fuel tank is not number one, not cheap, and number two, super hard to work with. So but the fuel pumps are on top of the fuel tank there, so that might be the next thing we work on this thing. But yeah, so to see, I had to you know turn the key a few times to try to get fuel through the filter and fill the filter up to make it work. That's why every time if we would turn the key like three or four different times before this, it would take right off and run great. It's like I had to build up pressure. So that was either you know a fuel filter not being plugged up or pump not making enough pressure. So I'm hoping it was maybe the fuel filter, but we'll have to see. Um, anyway, this thing is still running, no drips yet. And it just idled outside for like probably about five, ten minutes or so. And seems to revs up great and everything like that. So yeah, I don't know. Seems pretty good. Alright, Matt, we got a couple of big projects coming up. One that I just picked up the other day. I cannot wait to show you guys. 
So stay tuned for next time. Anyway, thanks for watching Tommy Technology. Be sure to subscribe and like this video, and I will see you next time.